to Bain for three. And maybe a little run put together by TCU to generate some stress-free offense at some point. They have not had one stress-free trip down the floor, it seems. That, that might have been the best one. That's been Bain. And that's a way to take advantage of him by TCU. Didn't get that offensive rebound. Oh, sweet crossover. And Bain connects on the jumper. Wow. There. Miscommunication on defense from Kendrick Davis and J.D. Miller. Bain off the glass. Here's Bain pushing all the way to the rim with a right hand scored it. And the left wide. There's going to be a game this year where an official calls that. And, and then Robinson. Now Bain. A lot catches. UA out of Bain baseline for the jump. Got hard for defenders too. A guy like that who is such a threat from the perimeter puts it on the floor instead, takes it, and you can't defend that running jumper he's got. Here he is this time, strong to the rim. Pass down the floor and ended up with a wide open three in the corner, and ended up finally putting it in on a tip from uh, as a crazy. Yep, Kate and Archie a little out of control. Now Bain catches. He'll finish. Ball doesn't go here for Weaver to try to answer. And the Frogs back the other way. We have seen Alex Robinson as well as Kendrick Davis. There's Desmond Bain. Has Through the defense, Archie gives it up, though. Desmond Bain. He loves that move. Your size and some of these bigger guards took advantage of it. RJ Nembhard set to get into the next dead ball. Down to a minute 19 to play in this half. Lead for the Frogs is nine. Tested, but it wasn't, it wasn't going to be blocked, and he's going to make that more times than not. Nice job by Kevin Samuel retreating there on defense. Here's Bain Getting the block. on the run. Look at that. JD going to have to force one with two left on the clock. Bain with the offensive rebound on the putback. Oh, Blackwell. And a deep three again. This is from Braxton Huggins. Well, we heard that Huggins has no conscience when it comes to shooting the basketball. And Huggins already has shown us that. Another offensive rebound here for Lipscomb. It's Cooper battling had it knocked away, and Robinson takes it from him now. Bounce to Bain. Let's see if we can get in there. There you go. Nice job. Nice job, Al. Talks about the man to man throughout this first half. Gross works baseline. And a steal here for Robinson. I'm not so sure that's a matchup the Frogs want either. J.D. Miller on. Probably not, but you know, you got a guard who's in front of you. Sure. Robinson. Bang again. Desmond Des feeling it. He knows he's going to shoot. He knows he's going to put it up. And when he does, he's going to make most of them. Nice defense there for the Horn Frogs. McKay loses it. Robinson. Bang. Starting to heat up. Back in the game with one foul. Look his way on the inbounds. Can't get it to him. Miller keeps. I think JD just missed him right there. There's Bain on the fall away. Giving up the two. He gave up the three. Mike. Tough finish. Cannot connect. Neither team shooting all that well in the second half. Bain. Hunt and Mike have been brilliant. 11 points each. Boy got Hunt in the air. Doesn't take his shot. Good feed from Robinson to Bay. From a basketball family, his dad's a coach. Of course, college basketball fans know Jordan Matthews, who went to Cal and then transferred to Gonzaga and helped them get to a national title game. Forcing it and where the help was coming from. You can't allow TCU bigs to pick and roll to the basket uncontested because then you're going to be scrambling, and if they don't score at the rim, they're going to be launching threes like this. Other end with the defensive rebound. What's the upside for Kevin Samuel? I think a huge upside, frankly, because they... As Nice has it to Williams. And nowhere to go. That was forced out of the hands of Hughes. Desmond Bay, transition. First bucket as a collegiate player. Started his career at Butler. Transferred before playing a game. Found a home here at Indiana State. Link. They looked the part, especially with Noy. And the rock out there. Jay Barrett, I feel like he's the more well-rounded player at this point. He, he's the guy who is more NBA ready. Leaning in. And the rebound tipped. And Denzi. 
He's long on that three, and the rebound, Desmond Bain. Yeah, didn't catch that one properly, and with the link flying at him, I thought he shot that ball way too quickly. Bain to the basket. Samuels had a terrific ball game. And there is Samuel cleaning up the defensive glass. Pretty drops back from your conference. Had a solid season off the bench last year for Bucknell. As a pretty drive. And three from the corner. For most of the Big 12, because Kansas is a very deep hit. Because remember. This is counted a, a goal ten. Feel like they're being slighted. They up and leave their programs that they're with. I, I, I think it's absurd. It's interesting, Jamie Dixon telling us. Well, ball thrown away, Desmond Bain gonna go. Significantly better defensively this year. Robinson trying to cross over, runs it down. Butler was going for the steal that time, and now Bain for three. A guy who hasn't really shot it well on the year. Mason had it stripped, and now TCU running. Three on two, to the rim. Keeping Alex Robinson out of the paint. Vic turns it over, throws it right to Noy, ahead to Desmond Bain, lays it in. Always going left to the baseline. Good example right there, but you got to know that and take that baseline drive away. Desmond Bain able to make the f you before the game what the nerves were going to be like, and he said they're already there. My goal tonight is just to stay poised. He was a little bit more poised than his mom, though. When I talked to her, she told me she was a wreck. <laughs> Robinson backs down Reynolds. Miller out to Bain, wide open for three, and Desmond Bain gets... Wear a sweatsuit. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Sure. Regal pajamas. That's regal pajamas. <laughs> regal pajamas. <laughs> I like regal pajamas. Well, I, don't have, I don't have regal pajamas. Well, regal pajamas would be a sweatsuit, right? A lot of fun. All right, start with this. And... I'm asking the witness, and I'm going to lead the witness. Are you telling me that if I had said to you when we did that? It out? Yeah. They get a fresh 24. See that jump stop? Under control. Saturday, he's played two tonight. I don't think we'll see him back until the start of the second half. That's another bad pass. That should be a bounce pass in the post. But then it's, that's an inexperienced pass. Bain right at him. That's Air right. ball kick up ahead. Here's Miller. Reverses it. And they back. But it's not like they're chopped liver. They're, they're a good basketball team. I mean, 12 and 3, and you think the world's falling apart. And the steal by Bain. Look out below. Here's Desmond Bain with an easy lay -in. This is really, really got himself to the middle. Found a wide open soft spot in that zone. Bain knocks down another baseline jumper. Right now playing completely barefoot. <laughs> with the right foot. No sock, no shoe. Still dropping dimes though. Good. And there's a three. And under and through. 15 for Bain. He also has six rebounds and three assists. Here's Bain again. How about that? Hang on. <laughs> Five on the shot clock for TCU out of their timeout. Bain's got to hurry. Moves to the top of the key. Throws it up. Get this motion offense for TCU really hasn't been able to find any traction early. There's Desmond Bain for three, and that swims in. To save the ball in bounds by Hayes. I don't know how he did that. How about these last two shots? And then Locke hit one off the side of the backboard. Bain all the way, scores. Oh, is he athletic? No good. Offensive rebound. Maybe the best thing that Florida's doing is getting on the offensive glass. Even then, it's not helping. Best thing these guys are doing, TCU, is getting the ball down the floor. Don't let it slow down. Here's Bain right through the defense. And they didn't let it slow down. Against Texas on Wednesday. Allen dishes off and a point blank shot missed by Bassett. Over the top. What a pass. 
Francis. Nice no look past a Corpru who missed the reverse. Bain accelerates with the left hand. He's been on fire in the second half. And he's gotten credit to Tech defense. Mooney with the shot clock winding down. Here's Robinson off the steal. Lobs it up for Bain. Bain. Meyer. Samba. They've all been carrying the mail since Tristan Clark went out with that injury. There's Bain in full gallop. Got the basket and won. Man's land and Mason made him pay. Mason, 23 points. His career high is 29. And there is Desmond Bain finally getting up and down the floor with no stoppage. A lot of fast break basketball. And Oklahoma State's defense has been much better the last four or five possessions. Bain driving and scores plus one. This TCU offense has been sluggish at times here recently. No 70-point games the last five games. Shot clock down to three. That three is good for Dick. He's feeling good about where they stand tonight. So Cam Agrip picks up the first person. And this is a team that can ill afford to get into foul trouble of any kind. Especially the star players. Oklahoma State show a little 2-3 zone out of that baseline out. The zone is a bit of a new phenomenon for this Cowboys team. And there's... Bain, blocking foul, and now looking for more. We've had a 23-point swing, right? Iowa State was up by nine early in the first half, and TCU up by 14. Freshman Davis to the senior, Bain floating away, got that tough. Nardi has Iowa State right now as a four seed. TCU is a nine seed. Desmond Bain now finding Robinson. When Robinson's game isn't as the playmaker, are there enough other answers offensively for TCU in their system? Or if no. you take him out, are you really going to struggle? And that's why they play Kendrick Davis so much, because it takes the pressure off Robinson. Bain forces a three and hits it. That's a tough Robinson comes out of the pack. Gives it up to Davis. Bain sticks it back up and in. Dotson leans in. Here comes Desmond Bain. He'll cross over and accelerate. Alex Robinson, he races the other way, uses his body well to miss the shot, but Bain cleans it up. Bain left open from the corner. It's back down to a two-point. An absolutely incredible streak. Here's Robinson back in the game. Fires a three. And a second effort by Desmond. Limited their ability to run their stuff. Here's Bain looking to push. Desmond Bain all the way. And suddenly it's back down to the finalist. And hasn't gotten in. And you know, he's trying to get into a Hall of Fame, the Basketball Hall of Fame, that is full of you-know-what. I mean, it is the least true. They get out on Dezogba that time, leaves to Muth open, and what a block by Samuel. Bain in transition, that's a long two. Chris, who, who's the other guy? Who's, who's got to get it going here for TCU outside of Robinson? This guy with the ball right here. He had 26 points in the first matchup between the basketball here in the first half, especially from outside the arc. McClay, the guys in the studio had an excellent point. Shayok has two fouls on very support. Ooh, son. Talk about a strong finish. Halliburton, the shot fit, drives in for the floater, doesn't get it. And Noy gets it ahead for Davis. Bain knocks it down for TCU. Doug Sermons, Mike Roberts, Jeb Hartness are officiating crew, and we're underway as TCU controls the opening tip. We talked about the depth of 
the Horned Frogs. They go only eight deep. Five players in that opening night roster no longer available or with the team, but they get the scoring started. West. No. It's a fairly early shot, but it was an open one. Here's Bain, a three. Got it for the tie. Des Long steps through the lane and a stupid score. Here's TCU, though, transition off the make, and Bain punishes the run to get to seven and eight in the Big 12, pick up a quadrant two road win. Second half starts with TCU in possession. Desmond Bain, just three of eight in the first half, but he blows Pog. Lamont West with five. West Virginia now 10 assists on 12 baskets, but they didn't get back quickly, and Bain... Getting a rebound out of your area, he tracked that thing down from the rim to the corner. He's got five already. Here's another turnover. Thrown away by Harler. Bain from Robinson on the stop and score. Desmond in the lead by a half game over Tech and a game over Kansas, though the Jayhawks cleaned up K-State at home yesterday. Desmond Bain in transition. Nice pass. Oh, Mayween fumbles it. No one comes up with it. Bain. The hesitation. But you're being told that you're on that line, that last four in. You know, you're, so you're telling me there's a chance. I mean, that's kind of where they're at. And I think he's just trying to draw some blood from them to say, look, we have a shot here, guys. Oh, the second time. Days he told his guys, we need to win tonight for the tourney and for the seniors. Bain, wow. the foul the other way. So far, we've seen that in this game. Another impossible follow-up from Desmond Bain. Frankly, this does not look like a Texas team that is fighting for their postseason lives right now. No, they're, they're extremely out of kilter. And to, to add to that, it's just surprising to me. That layup, those are like, I mean, Have to come from somewhere. Wow, Joe Lenardi, thank you so much for your time. We always appreciate it. So that really summed up everything you need to know about this game. TCU wins. Joe Lenardi puts them back into the tournament field. Major question marks now about Texas and what a loss here would mean. Des to the ball game. Nice lead for Amy, but blocked from behind. Robinson got a piece of that. And that's the difference when it's oh. versus Ham. Usually that's a dunk. How about that ball? Coleman, another block from Samuel. He's up to three. Bain, hanging around, and TC. Yeah, and Coleman had a shot there. It's just become habitual for them to throw it up. Texas, that is, throw it up near the rim because they have such athletic bigs who can finish with the best of them. I thought he missed an opportunity to get a shot. Bain, wide open, and got the game for TCU and their NCAA tournament hopes. To put the ball in your senior's hand. Alex Robinson has to get something here in pick and roll. Bain. A three, and they lead it. You basketball just getting started. Second half, John Jambi, Robbie Hummel. Jared Petrolino. And that from and coming off that career high performance. Zagwa short. And now here is Bain. We'll try a three. Got it. And it's textbook. So it's over 20, so it's a 24. But get somebody a shot that can put it in the basket. Like that guy. Bain thought about a three. Gives it up. Miller fumbled it. Found Bain on the tap. One possession game. Brown trying to squeeze one through to Mayween. Bain the other way. Swoops in and scores. And we've got a one possession. Cameron Delaney. And the rebound tipped out to Kendrick Davis, who pushes. Transition three, the pretty stroke from Desmond Bain. Four point game. Winner will play the winner of Nebraska and Butler as TCU quickly up the floor. Des because of Davis and his straight line drives and getting to the rim. Foot speed. His legs kind of got 
played 40 <laughs> minutes in those games. He's one for seven against Wisconsin. The TCU's been able to end of the first half. It was coming. Oh, yeah. At the seven-minute mark, I thought that Nebraska wanted to hang around and then push the pedal to the metal in the second half. Shorten the game. Bain answers. Could be a four-point play. It's hard to... It's hard to double team when the floor is so spaced and you don't bail the defense out by taking bad shots or turn it over. Six to shoot. This has been the Desmond Bain of the last five weeks. You can hear Coach Dixon saying reverse it, second side, breaking the defense down. And the reversal leads to a has led the conference in assists, 16 a game, because of the spacing, the patience, and moving the ball. They look to pass up a good shot for a great shot. Bain will try the three on the second opportunity. The Icelander, who's getting minutes now with the loss of several players, and Thurban Jarnson has stepped up his game to help the Huskers. Bain, and that's the shot he's been drilling.